Okay, so this is my FT817 portable setup, complete with PSK31 via the uh, uh, Wolfgang uh, Wolfie software for, uh, in this case, PSK31. Uh, I have the others on there, Ritty and uh, SSTV and so on. There's his... Uh, really small little interface. It's difficult to get some idea as to how big that is, or rather how small. Uh, that is a quarter. It's about the size of a uh, ten penny piece for you English people. And uh, yeah, it's really very, very small. Okay, so uh, I have a Pelican case to pack it away into. This one is the uh, turn the box around the right way. This one is the uh, IM2200. I'll show you that when we're packing it away. And then here I've got a uh, bunch of papers on the floor. <laughs> I've got a uh, drive-on stand. You can buy these on eBay. I think I got this at a Dayton a few years back. It's not quite the right size for the uh, military fiberglass poles that I've got. I've got four of them for approximately 15 feet and then up there at the top is the uh, LDG uh, one to one uh, ballon and you might just see some of the wires coming off it's vaguely a uh, inverted V okay and that travels across into the back of the uh, low power tuner here all works perfectly fine There's, uh, some decoding of some PSK there. Okay, now uh, we're going to pack it away, obviously, uh, into this box. You'd be surprised just how well it all goes away. Uh, this uh, box right now you can buy on eBay for roughly a hundred bucks, a uh, hundred dollars. You can also get them in Best Buy here in the US, uh, again for about a hundred dollars. Look around there, you might be able to get it cheaper. You can also uh, by a uh, nameplate that removes that sticker there puts a nice engraved uh, uh, plate on there, I've ordered one of those, I'm waiting for it to show up um, it's uh, lockable and of course with all Pelican cases it's waterproof as well as airtight has a, uh, it's difficult to see here has a uh, air uh, vent there to let the air out if there's a pressure change and as you can see I have used the uh, the, the pick and pluck material there and picked it to do, uh, make the vague shapes of the things I want to put in here. Let me show you what is in here. Um, comes with two pads, a foam and a top foam. It all comes out. In the bottom here, uh, that's a uh, power supply complete with power poles. Uh, it's a uh, mains power supply, so there's the power cable. Plug it in the wall. Um, and uh, a couple of frogs here, little holes that I've got for things. Uh, let's start those up. Uh, let's take the microphone out. And uh, I'm doing this one-handed because uh, it's difficult to hold the, uh, the microphone and do stuff at the same time. The mic cable wraps itself into here nicely. The microphone then goes in there as well. Okay. Uh, this hole here, a couple of things go. Let's turn the uh, power off. Okay, um, start disconnecting things. All of the connection cables for the tuner go under the tuner. All of the uh, cables, except the power cable that's pertinent to the radio, go under the radio. Uh, right, except for, and then of course you could argue that that's a tuner and or radio cable, I think it's a tuner cable. Um, let's pull out the warpy interface, let's pull out the 239. Excuse me while I uh, do this one handed. Note to self get some kind of camera you can wear. Um, Alright, let's uh, put this in here somehow. Okay. Packed. Now there's only one more thing that I need, and that's the power cable, because for some strange reason I chose to put the power cable there. 
me just uh, organize that. Here's the power cable. Just uh, give me a second here to uh, wind it up. Oh. Okay, so that is the bottom layer. Okay, uh, note this space here. I haven't done anything about it yet, but I'm going to put the, uh, oops, unplug it. I'm going to put the uh, Wolfie adapter, Wolfie adapter, I'm sorry, in here. I just got to uh, make some little uh, holes for it. Uh, it's got a data cable to the radio, the uh, uh, sound card interface, and in turn the uh, radio. You will note that uh, you'll note that I was using it on a uh, Samsung. This is a Tab 4, 7-inch one. Uh, ideal for the Go Kit, of course. You can see uh, how small that is. Uh, um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I'll put that in there. I haven't made the cutouts for that yet. Uh, okay, and then in goes the top. And in the top panel, I've made cutouts for the radio. I'll show you that right now. See, radio just slots in the back there, gently pushes in. Uh, bingo, there's the radio, a spare battery. Uh, and then a uh, couple of things going here. This is the tuner, fits in that hole. Um, I'm not going to tear it down, but the ballon uh, goes in that slot. And in this slot, I've actually got the, uh, the antenna, all the various parts of the antenna. Which are floating around uh, somewhere. There's a bit that I picked up off the floor that I almost lost. Okay, um, and then uh, I can also get the uh, papers in here because you never know when you might need. There's a bit more antenna I almost lost. Um, you never know when you might need the uh, the, the the book, um, and that goes on here like that. And just for jollies, I can remove this foam here and in the back there I can get the 20 feet of coax that's now uh, lying on the floor going up the pole and also the uh, 50 foot dipole it's uh, you know just 50 feet of uh, wire cut in two to create the uh, both legs of the dipole uh, and that can all go in the back here so then all I then need to do is you'll like this shut the lid press it down Pop the poppers, turn up the handle, and uh, bingo. Look at that. How do you like that? And the good thing about these Pelican cases is they bounce and they lock. You can put those TSA locks in there. Um, and uh, they're waterproof, they're airtight. If you put it in a plane, a lot of people find that their watertight things swell because, of course, the pressure drops in the plane. Well, they thought of that, and that's what that does that uh, lets out the air and so what actually happens is that when you get it on the ground you can find that you can't get it open because it's airtight <laughs> but uh, yeah that works really well so that's it it is uh, you know not even briefcase size smaller than briefcase size got a bit of mud on it look there see and uh, yeah I just decorated it with some uh, stickers so uh, I've got that plate on order that's gonna have my call sign and things like that so uh, cool there you go uh, all right, catch you another time.